when it's late at night and you still don't have a video idea. Today we're going to be talking about some more Mini Lad. We're going to be thanking Mini Lad for what he's done to the commentary community. He's given us so many views. He has literally grown new channels such as Sensitive Society, Prison Mike or something, some, some other guy. Like these guys have legit grown their channels mostly from exposing Mini Lad. It's honestly kind of funny how negative things can turn into positive things for other people. It's just kind of interesting how the world works sometimes. And well, this is obviously a prime example of that. As you guys know, Mini Lad has made a lot of oopsie daisy mistakes, and um, he's getting in trouble for all of them right now. His fan base is basically just exposing him. Some are just part of the cult and are still loving him more than ever, but a lot of people are starting to see through his crap and um, he's getting exposed for it. Now the people who are exposing him are definitely uh, cashing in and uh, they're making some nice money. They're growing channels off of this stuff and it's kind of hilarious. Even uh, my new channel here is gaining a lot of subscribers and views just from talking about many lads' mistakes. Sensitive Society has obviously profited off of this probably more than anyone and um, good for him, like milk that stuff until it's dry as King Leafy once explained. It's really fun as a commentator just being able to talk about stuff like this and bring in the views and then all like the people who love him just go down below and just rage and expose us but they help the algorithm. There's so many people either way that will watch this and they'll comment either one way or the other. It's very polarizing but the good thing about that is everyone wants to comment and say their two cents and tell me that I'm wrong or right about the mini lad drama and it just benefits us. This is the cool thing about fishing for that drama on YouTube and just chasing that clout. It's obviously a great way to go for a new channel. It's kind of toxic, not gonna lie, but um it works so are you gonna argue that <laughs> I don't think you can obviously uh, there are uh, costs to the strategy of YouTube you can get exposed super fast say you have like faulty information like uh, saying mini lad was demonetized when he actually wasn't yeah I, I didn't do that did, did I yeah I, I did that I kind of got exposed for it but I bounced back people still love me apparently and um, it's working out. Basically what I'm saying is if you want to become a commentating channel, just wait for some severe drama to go down on YouTube and just cover it daily for like a week and see where you get. That's uh, basically what this channel has become. Half my videos are on Mini Lad, but if you look at the views on Mini Lad, they be popping yo. So uh, thank you Mini Lad? Question mark. I feel very weird thanking someone who's done so many gross things to people, but like I, I kind of have to. I guess you can argue that the commentating community is pretty toxic and gross because we just profit off of bad situations, but I mean, someone has to profit off of it. Why not be the commentators, who at least somewhat entertain people every once in a while? I would like to hope. Anyway, so Mini Lad drama is dying down, and the Jonathan Galindo videos are dying down, so I kind of need some drama. If any of you guys would like to create a new trend of drama, go for it. Do some really crazy stuff on YouTube so I can report on it. JK, please don't do that. That is definitely going to get clipped, and I will be exposed for this video. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. It was very odd, and um, I'm sorry. I don't really know what I'm doing. It's very late at night, and I had to make a video for this video. Yeah, that didn't make sense. But anyway, see you guys later. I'm going to go sleep. Silly, extra, fatty, hard. That made no sense. Goodbye, gamers.